Let's talk about monkeypox and really how monkeypox is very different than COVID, but we're still making a lot of the same mistakes. To give you the bottom line up front, we are still under communicating about the risk so that everyone understands what the risk is. We are under testing across the United States. So we're allowing monkeypox to continue to spread. And right now we're under vaccinating. And so these are a lot of the mistakes that we made two and a half years ago in January and February of 2020. And we're bringing that same evidence and mistakes into our monkeypox response. The good news about monkeypox is we know a lot about it. So it's part of the pox family. And that's a family of viruses that are DNA viruses. So they're very stable. They don't mutate like the COVID virus. And so vaccines that we made really decades ago and used effectively until about 1972, not only were highly effective in preventing spread, but had long lived what we call herd immunity. And so probably people today who were vaccinated in 1970 or before are probably still protected against monkeypox. So what do we need to do right now? Well, it was originally introduced into our LGBT network, but that's only because of where the introduction occurred. It could have been the NFL, it could have been a soccer team. And we've learned from PEPFAR and our work overseas in battling pandemics is you start where it starts and over communicate there, but ensure that the entire country is aware about the symptoms and how to prevent spread. And so right now, in order to prevent this spread becoming a pandemic, we need to over-communicate, over-test, and over-vaccinate. And then we can ensure that Americans are safe from monkeypox.